In the nature and power of Allah, the master of spiritual insight and perceival of all truths, I rise to give all praises due to Allah and I give honor to his holy and illustrious prophets, messengers, gods, apostles, and angels in training. It's Lord Merc L, Angel in Training TV. And we here in the middle of Harlem on 125th Street between Adam Clay and Powell Jr. Boulevard and Malcolm X Boulevard. You can see we're in front of the state building. And I've been walking past this beautiful brother now for quite some time who was selling flags. And these flags here, when you see them, the visual, app, the visual application of such allows us to re-edify ourselves with esteem and pride, as well as a desire for information to back up that we are a people and that the people are represented, not just by flags, but by their actions. And this brother right here, in his patriotic and matriotic sense, comes out to 125th Street, where the zombies walk past him all day, just so that he can find somebody who's halfway awake and build with them and teach them something that they may not know or would like to be refreshed on. So when I walked up to the table, thank you, brother, I saw this here with some information. African-American flag since 1990. There are two flags nowadays which and most often are identified as the African-American flag. Marcus Garvey's red, black, and green tricolor and coming up on 100 years, at this point it's 101, uh, I believe, is more properly called the Pan-African flag due to its hugely important, due to the huge importance to the history of flag design. It should be noted that the, Uni the Universal Negro Improvement Association was not a Back to Africa movement founded in 1914 by Marcus Messiah Garvey and in fact was a, a reclamation of the so-called African mindset, not so much the return to the physical territory. And then here it is. There's nothing which really sets it apart as an African-American flag. This is where the artist David Hammonds comes in. He took the colors of the Pan-African flag and put on the stars and stripes, creating this iconic design. The original flag is in the permanent collection of the MOMA, the Museum of Modern Art, which is on 125th Street between Adam Clay and Powell Jr. Boulevard and Frederick Douglass. However, many copies have been made and flown since. The one pictured here is still my favorite because the symbolism comes through crystal clear. May I have this, brother? Yeah. Thank you, yeah, sir. Now, um, now that we're here, brother, um, I would just like to ask you a few questions, starting with where was the what was the motivation behind you know coming out here with these flags and just really like giving giving our people something to look at as and you know want to adopt as their own. What what motivated me was when I seen the flag before I, when I seen that flag that African American Museum. That's a big flag there. That's one of the flags. Oh, the Museum of Modern Art is between Adam K. and Powell Jr. and Malcolm X Boulevard. Pardon me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That flag that, that represents to me, and just like he said, come Crystal Clay. The brother, David, he in charge of that museum. He designed that flag. It's deeper than what you think when you see it. It's not no duplicate of no United States flag. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and he made the flag. And it's just time to move on because nobody tell us to freeze in history. Martin Luther King said he will not get there with us, but he see that. He didn't say stop there. It is not for Marcus Garvey or Frank Frederick Douglass or any our hero who said stop and stop right here. I done pass away or they got me in jail. Nobody freeze our culture in time. They said keep on going. So when we see this flag here, there's a lot good behind it to move on. And I think the symbolism to me is we build this country. That's right. We build this country. This is all ours, everywhere we at. 
That's Matter right. of fact, the brother that made that flag, is he told me himself four days ago, the stars mean our heart. We all are stars. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than that. This don't mean like the stars on the United States flag country and all of this. You know what I'm saying? That sounds automatic. Because we build it. You know That's what I'm right, saying? Brother. Marcus Garvey made a flag and his organization made a flag quick at the moment. They said we didn't have no flag. We the only, you know, they talking about cool stuff and all of that. That's See, right. They accept that flag and don't put no stars on it or anything. You know what? Just make a flag. But the, but the, the, the European crack is all of them that come over here to steal and slave us. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, everybody that marched in a parade today got a star on their flag or something like that. That's and they right. ain't did nothing in this country but come over here and steal our benefit. That's right. Sometimes they walk by the table and say, what y'all doing with the flag? What they know about our culture? They don't even know their own culture. Talk they about ran. It. They ran from their country. Instead of standing up for their country and they go kind of come over here and take our benefit once we got it. Now everybody claiming this, you know what I'm saying? You got buildings going up today, they go winning. You know what I'm saying? They go in the brand new buildings where we supposed to be going, our babies and stuff. And they stealing it and they got a country. You know what I'm saying? We came from the no human beings, they want to keep us down. You know what I'm saying? To the President of the United States. And they still look at us like, you don't know who this is? You don't know who did this country like this? You don't know who African American is? But you can claim you come over here cowardly from your country with five dollars and they work hard. After we done came out of slavery, we die and all of that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And they got, most of them got green cards. They know they can't fight. They can't fight revolution like we do because they got green cards. Because right. if they go against the government, they're going, they going back. Kicked out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So they want to put their shit, okay, we're going to help you enslave the African Americans. Right. You Which know is what exactly saying? what's happening. They're going to help. Oh, what that? They get mad when I say they see new African American flag. We don't supposed to have nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we got we got flag now, but they associate with the with Negro, this, that, all of that. We update. Even when Jesse Jackson ran for president, they called him black. And they call other dude Italian. They went into the Italian American Ameri uh, dude history because he's Italian. They went into his when Jesse, nationality. Yeah, when your Jesse Jackson ran black. Now what he had? Nothing. Nothing. They didn't want to go back and tell the world how we got here. What's Obama's nationality? You know what I'm saying? Obama is both. He he's African. He's African and he's uh, mixed. He just mixed. When, when somebody called him black, he said, "You know what? I'm not black." He you said, know, "He said, he said, black has no standing at law." In fact, there you go. In fact, when he was getting praised as the first so-called African American president, they didn't call him African American. They no. said he was the first. Kenyan American yeah. president. They do, As in, yeah. this is Kenya's flag and this is America's flag. Where's y'all yeah. niggas? Yeah, that's why, that's why, if anything I got from Obama, I got, I know how to debate, believe me. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to tear him apart, but look where he at. There you go. That's right. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and when he come out, he can wear a proper flag once the brothers in the university, college, African American college and all of that. Once this, you know what I'm saying? They see where it comes from and where it at. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. It give our people, you know what I'm saying? More, more, more courage. You know what I'm saying? They feel more courage. They pull up their pants. They learn. You know what I'm saying? All of that. You know we moving it up. Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey never go off the mat. He's inside this. When you look into this, he's there, everybody there. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Brother, I'd like to ask you, are you familiar with Noble Jew Ali and his work? Nah, nah, not, not right now. You know, I, I'm not trying to tie up, but you know what I'm saying? I'm you just... Heard that, right? Nah, nah, not really. Cool, cool, cool. You know, I might have, you know what I'm saying? Was he on Hidden Color? Nah, Noble Jew Ali passed in 1929. Oh, nah, nah, I, 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 I heard about that, yeah. I probably read about it, but it's in my, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I stick on everybody. Right. You know what no, I'm saying? The reason I ask is because um, 
just like Marcus Garvey who founded his organization in uh, 1914. Noble Ali established an organization in oh, 1914. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, I uh, think I heard about him, yeah. What he was doing was he was see some of the things that you uh, actually alluded to, he had also, like for example, the Negro, the so-called black, the so-called colored, because it didn't have a flag. You know, didn't have a flag for his people or one to call his own. And, um, you know, you touched on nationality, like for example, when the brother was Italian and Jesse Jackson was so-called black. But uh, what I want to- What, what they call what him they call, black, right, yeah. So-called. So and so, what I wanted to bring to um, the attention was that, because we are on a similar frequency already, I would like to uh, share information with you and uh, reciprocate the information just as how you would give me this and I could read it and learn more. I could come to you and build with you with your permission, you know, and uh, a few times on camera. If I could educate with you on, you know, Noble Juwali, on nationality, on the flags that our people have had for over 50,000 years that was taken from us in 1774 by the First Continental Congress in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, September 5th, 1774. Dig? You know? Yeah, by legal yeah, and yeah. political yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, go know? ahead. Yeah, so all now, of that, see, what I'm saying, all of that is this. My, my main focus is I am a warrior. Yeah. When you want to, you know what I'm saying? My, my information and scholar come from brothers like that made this flag, brothers in that museum, professors, all of that, scientists, colleges. That's my science. Yeah, science and all of that. That's my people. I'm just a warrior. True indeed. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a warrior. I'm out here. I'm a warrior. And if I may, brother, I would like to say, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, that warrior spirit. You're yeah, obviously you know a warrior. You come out I'm here with action, this. man. This, this, this is real. Ain't nobody gonna stop us. See, just like our um, man, Pop, press forward. We ain't gonna stand. Press forward. Everybody, press forward. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? We ain't stopping. Ain't nobody freezing us. Everybody stealing from us, doing other things and all that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't having it. I'm not my pay for the people that can't speak. That's not retarded by the white man and, and twisted by the white man. I'm talking about the one that was murdered, raped, couldn't even say nothing. There's more. A lot of them was raped, raped and murdered before the one that was retarded in that book. You know what I'm saying? The solid killer. They had fun killing us that we wasn't even noticed about. I'm speaking for them. That's who I am here for. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm going to stay. You know, that's who I'm speaking for. The one that's been hanged, murdered, and all that killed, back to forth. And here where we are now, we no. need that and we need you. Sure. And so, you know, I'm going to take no. you again. Because, brother, you're the only one out here doing this, man. No. You know, I mean, I'm talking about this here. Yeah, yeah. This here. Yeah. So this right here is like a catalyst. You can have people, you got, this could be all over the people doing this and teaching and educating. Right. And, all this. and so I would like to continue to, you know, educate my family, the summer, yeah. my, my viewership, the audience, and as well as, you know, introduce yeah. you and other people on 125 who are doing these benevolent works so that we can find some changes. Listen. Yeah. This out here, the street stuff. Yeah. This is over, yo. What's up, what's up with that mark? Yeah. What, what's up? Yeah. What's up with this building? Right? Oh, they got a new one on it. What's up? Yeah. We should be having some type of financial interest. This is what this is about. Exactly. This is what bringing us unity. Yeah. Unity. Oh, yeah. This is what bringing us unity. Yeah. This is what we're we doing. We got to have yeah. unity with this church, and everybody yeah. love it. All so of like that. Salam alaikum. She's recording me. You gotta have, wait a minute. Yeah. All of that. All of that. All of that. All of that in the mix. It's all good. It's all good. This is ours. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right. This like. Just like the lady that was uh, in charge of Marcus Garvey, this when, when she had the big, you know, Marcus Garvey day parade, and she came back and talked to me. Yeah. And I told her to get in contact. I did the same thing. We talked, you know, where the flag comes from. Right. She could read this, get in contact with him, and tell him what she into, because the man is with it. You could come together and you could talk. He can help you. And I was, you know I was at the Marcus Garvey Day celebration. Yeah. So if I could, I would like to also, yeah. since you gave me this information. Yeah. I would and like I gave it to her to get in contact with him, which I'm going to speak to him huh. too. You know, so and we can keep on with Marcus Garvey parade and everything. And. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. if you wouldn't mind, let me know how you think, you see, like, um, how you view yourself on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm going to notify you once I put it up on my information yeah. say on my card. And I'm also having a video to come up with the um, celebration. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. please. Yeah, I came through there. I saw you in there. Sure thing. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You know, definitely, um, get contact me. Reach out to me, please. I'd be honored to work with you. Right, you right. Back. You know, and I told the lady she gonna get she gonna get in contact with him because I told him this it's man is the third highest paying artist in the world. Anything that he sells is over a million dollars. He got money and he's a revolutionary all the way. Mm. If you study when you study him, you're gonna see that. And he's a brother. I'm and gonna he start studying him today. He, yeah, he's a millionaire. And he just walked right here two four days ago. And told me yo have fun making money. We shake hands, we took pictures, all of that. You know what I'm saying? He was with his wife, his little short brother. You know, he be walking around here. You wanna know? Millionaire. You know what I'm saying? This is him. That's this is what he's about. What us? He's an artist of a revolutionary in California. Watch all of that. He came through that Mark fight Hell. with the Black Panthers and all of that. I'm dying. This is not. He just did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I love this flag. I love this flag. When I saw it one day, I just, you know what I'm saying? So I did a lot of vendors. So I said, this summer, I'm going to push this flag. This is in my heart. Yeah, I'm going to take this. For the, for the rest of the season, I'll be out here with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, because, it see, you're getting quite popular. And, you know, I get, I, I get paid when it's on my camera. So I'm going to with you soon. OK, yeah. I know we was gonna talk. That's how I be seeing you around. Sure no. Hey, no, peace. Right. You are traveling to Harmony, all right? You know that. Thanks. Yes, sir. All right, peace. Peace, Harlem. Yeah.